Okay, I wasn't watching the screen, so I'm sorry. Um, hi, today's Monday, so I'm pretty sure that means it's the Island Adventures, and that's a world created and ruled by the Fae. I have no braining today, so uh, it's going to be good. My name's Jessica. I'll go by I Sneeze Stars sometimes, I think, online or D in Denial. If you uh, are talking to someone, it's most likely me. Um, I'll run you through the, what are those things called? Shows that we have on our channel. So Tuesdays, we have State of the Union with uh, Coddlesworth and Daniel and myself uh, at 7.30 p.m. EST. Also, special guest uh, Scarlet64 for the next run will be there. Um... Thursdays, we have The Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST by Mr. Markham. And Fridays, we have... What do we have? We have... Wait, Legends of Careless. There it is. Uh, at 10 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by uh, Telerius Game Master. And Saturdays, we have our new game, the uh, I should stop saying that eventually. Um, the Moonstone Matriarchy at 8 p.m. EST. Uh, also DM'd by myself with six sexy ladies. It's very, very sapphic. Check it, uh, to watch the stuff. So, um, fucking Christ, Carol, <laughs> <laughs> I'll save you. <laughs> it's me, Carol. Hello. Um, I am Imaginary Carol on TikTok primarily. I'm Quarter Carol other places, but I don't do anything on those places, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and I will be playing Gilly Glane, our Warbarian Water Genazi. It's me. Um, bye. Hello, everybody. I'm Pyrea. Uh, you can find me everywhere as Pyrea. Um, I will be Elewin Olympus, the High Elf Chronology Wizard. Uh, let's go ahead and just go up to Dan. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Tonight, I will be Damascus Silva, the half-elf bod warlock, who, uh, we're in hell, guys. That's bad. <laughs> That's all I got. Just now uh, realizing that. James. Hi. <clears throat> I'm James. I go by Mazdrix or Mazdrix24 pretty much throughout the internet. Uh, tonight, I'm playing R of Dezark, our Circle of the Stars Druid. Uh, you may possibly, who knows, because just as a wild conundrum of shenanigans and fey trickery all rolled into one human body, I uh, get to meet. Um... <laughs> I was like, I know my own it's character's been so name. Long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Varian? Who? <laughs> yeah, I'm, yes. Gets me. Va oh, Varian okay. Arbor, the sort of smarmy Irish storm sorcerer that shares a body with him. So. Uh, that could be fun, depending on the day. So, uh, pay attention and stay with us as we uh, roll some dice. And it was um, Carol doing the intro today, wasn't it? I, it was. I got, I've got to get out of this. Hang on. <laughs> He's gotten stuck. You're stuck. He's it's gone like, too deep. It's like Lay's chips. You can't just have just one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's my recap? Where'd you go? Okay, this is a short one because it was a short episode. Previously on the Aeon Adventures. Having burgled their way into a pit fiend's lair to rescue Ren and Elle, the party were aghast to find themselves face to face with a pit fiend. Uh, the terrifying oh, Zuzaras no. was furious with his uninvited guests. Silver tongued Damascus tried to talk the fiends down and discovered the source of the conflict, but Strixen slept with Zuzaras' wife. Despite some solid relationship counsel from the party, combat was <laughs> inevitable. Zuzaras and our dice were apparently working together to kill us all, but both enemies were ultimately subdued. The Strixen portaled us out of Zuzrus's lair to the outskirts of a large city called the Netherhive, which I'm sure will be absolutely lovely. Beset by technical difficulties on our home plane, the party decided to rest in Arev's new magical mansion before continuing our adventure through the Pain Dimension. So, listen, top tier. That was okay. great. A yeah. plus. A plus. Look at you. A plus. <laughs> uh... Now, I do believe that we ended it with you walking into a very garish, very uh, bougie uh, chapel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fancy and nature-themed, <laughs> if I remember And I correctly. know that you wanted to 
actually describe that better. Yes. So <clears throat> what do you, what does everyone see as they walk into uh, your home for the night? So uh, the first thing that they discover as they approach the not one, but double door that is summoned by this uh, wand of magnificent mansion uh, it is the beautiful doors themselves, of course, made of a uh, pale birch wood uh, interlaid with silver filigree and uh, just very druidic and floral designs. And as uh, Arev pushes open the double doors, they're met by this sweeping, beautiful, open, um, uh, borderline cavernous front hall with beautiful um, tooled marble flooring, uh, four pillars wreathed in ivy reaching up to the cavernous stained glass roof uh two sweeping stairways on the left and right heading up to a balcony on the far side of the um the entranceway and, and a door to the left and right uh on the main floor with four doors visible uh, just past the uh trellis style um covering at the top of the so people don't just like fall off down into the foyer um at the at the top of the the actual stairs at the at the balcony, and this this is the first room that they encounter in Orev's magnificent forest mansion chapel style thing. How magnificent! Everybody, make a dex check so we don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Ran and El. Um, <laughs> oh, honey, we just went to all this trouble for him. <laughs> Like, he's don't, don't already himself... looking much better. Mm. Arev quickly turns around, just says, "Welcome, welcome. Uh, don't piss off the plants. They do like to play tricks, uh, especially the vines right up there." And he points at the top of the balcony. They need a few more details on that. <laughs> <laughs> you just see the vines when... salute <laughs> and then slither back up. How does one piss off plants? What do, what do plants not like? Um, salt, mostly snails. Right? <laughs> snails. Fire, cold, axes. Um, they're not a big fan of Varian, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they make fair. <laughs> he burns the trees. <laughs> Enemy um, of trees, Varian. It's it's like they all have a shared common knowledge which is really weird because these ones are you know made by the spell but somehow they still know in your head you're like stop telling them that's what you hear <laughs> <laughs> stop telling them uh restriction looks around goes so are we to stand here all night or Oh, no, it, you can do whatever you like. So just down that, uh, on either side here, it leads to separate hallways. And he points to the one of the doors. He goes, on the main floor over there, that'll lead off into uh, a banquet hall. And just beyond the banquet hall is a kitchen. On that side is the uh, library. Uh, quite fond of that room, actually. It, I think it's quite beautiful. Um, uh, Elewin, you like books, right? Yes, she's making uh she's making runes and making <laughs> yes notes. as she doesn't stop and look up from yeah. her notes. <laughs> yeah, she's just, you're yeah. seeing her like carve magical runes in the air and he, get, he's, get as you're, as you're doing that he's like yeah so that's over the uh, purple purple jellyfish uh with the candles because uh, with the stuff with the jelly beans and there's a library over there. Anyways, <laughs> all right. And then he turns to Vic Strixon and says, um, the rooms at the top of the balcony are uh, bedrooms. And then he, uh, you see Vic Strixon um, adjust his glasses a little bit and then turn to Ren and Al and be like, let's get you something to eat, shall we? And that ain't a, mm -hmm. that ain't a bad idea, all things considered. Also, dibs on a room not near the vines that want to kill us. Potentially, <laughs> opposite uh, side for me. Damascus, make me a a, a um, perception check. Okay. 
Uh, I need to pick up light. Let's see. Oh, that's an at 20. Oh, uh, they are called creeping crawlers and they are about a foot from your ankle. Ah, uh, ah I immediately bleh, jump backwards and they stop moving immediately and just like you see, it's almost like they're like trying to do one of these like do to do. That's the vibe you get from the plant. Oh, hey, that's stressful. Your vines like me or don't like me. I can't tell which it is, but I don't appreciate it either way. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> you know what? It, either way, they're pretty handy to have around. Um, I'm pretty sure they that... They were about to get handsy. Well, <laughs> they, they get handsy. That they're, they're the ones that kind of serve the whole place. So if you occasionally see vines like hanging from the ceiling and swinging you a plate full of eggs and toast, just say thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh, all right. Although th this one's kind of on the fritz here. Just hang on. And I, I like walk over to, to the wall a little bit and I start like tapping it. And you see me like fussing with it and clicking buttons. And then I'm like, no, no. And then I tap it a few more times and then I click another. And I'm like, as you do that, the you see the vines come down and try and start grabbing for the wand to take it away from you. Hey, uh... <laughs> we, we talked about this. And Stop. like, <laughs> <laughs> and then don't I, you I, sass me, Mister? I, I I press a few more buttons, and then um the the f top row of the balcony with like the four doors actually begins to shift and uh, elongate so that it goes further down the hall. It becomes sort of like a like a circular hallway, and you just hear two very distinct distinct like crunching noises, like. <laughs> And then I go, six bedrooms. I meant six bedrooms when I built this thing. Oh, handy. Uh, Elaine will make another. Life. This place is great. Couple runes in the air, and then uh, close her book and look up at kind of all of you and scan. Uh, supper, food, something. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What way? Uh, down the hall, uh, over there, east oh, wing. Right. Uh, follow the vans, I suppose. And Vistrixen is going to move past you uh, with his arm around uh, Rananel's shoulders <laughs> and just head in that direction. Oh. I turn to Damascus and I go, am I the host? It's your uh, fancy hut of fanciness. Shit. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually had to people I think um, maybe like uh, offer to, to show him around, maybe pull out a chair. I think. To be fair, Hope we really like should have brought like housewarming gifts. So we're all kind of on the wrong foot here. That's, okay. Well, uh, let's. Okay. I probably I still owe have you it. a nice bottle of wine. <laughs> Wait, I'll take it. I pull out my alchemy jug. Got that covered. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> Wow. Are you leaving it? Don't you leave gifts with the host? No, I'm going to pour you out the wine another into, a decan into a decanter. And then oh, so that have, wine is the do gift. Do we have a craft? Oh, so it's my alchemy jug now. <laughs> <laughs> it's emotional uh, support alchemy jug. He needs it. It's, it's for the mail. Do you... What do you do in this moment, guys? I decide to finally host and I walk in front of Vixtrixen and say, my apologies. Let me show you where the dining hall is and begin like to actually getting to the walk. door already. <laughs> yeah, they were like down the stairs and he's already like, there. Good, job. good job there, buddy. Ren hops over the balcony and just like, I'm, I'm leaving the show. Look, wow. if, if it wasn't going to be me doing the things around here, we'd all be doing it for the vines. <laughs> oh, no. We love it. Oh, we love it. it. Uh, Daddy James. Daddy James. <laughs> I turn to the nearest vine and just be like, you're doing the cooking, right? It slaps you. Ow. <laughs> Show me the way, please. 
<laughs> they just curl <laughs> up into nothing. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> They were two different vines. You know, not all vines look the same. <laughs> it's oh. Two vines look alike, Daniel. God. Well, you know. <laughs> how how uncultured. Don't did you spend any time around druids when you were growing up? Nope. Gosh. <sighs> yeah. Oh, uh, awful, was, you get to food. your uh banquet. There is food already on the table, as I believe everything you need for this for a night is already there in this uh, magic mansion. Vistrixen doesn't take the head of the table, though for a second you see him sit, uh, like kind of step towards that, realize this isn't his house, and then just pull out a chair for Ranel and then sit beside him. And oh, then there's there's no arranged seating. Another one. Every, everyone can sort of sit where they want, Fixtrix, and you don't. If somewhere felt more comfortable to you, just sit there. I'm seated now, so I think Got we're it. fine. Oh, wait, so... we will sit down on the other side of Renanel. <laughs> Billy's gonna take one at the other end of the table and do her signature. Pull the chair out extremely noisily. <laughs> and clomp into it. Move. Strixen's like, <laughs> um, pull out a chair for Faza. Then sit in mine. A gentleman. I oh, just nice. remembered because I told Arev to do it. Otherwise, Damascus would have forgotten. <laughs> it's just on the forefront of his mind. Oh, right. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Never done this before. Winter's standing there, like. Why does no one pull out my chair? Oh, it's I fine, Winter. I'll pull, pull it out, out a chair for myself. For Thank you. Sometimes I just want to feel acknowledged and pretty. Okay? Oh, poor Winter. You are strapping young man with Winter. I know. Wait until you see your room. Ooh. I Teaser. don't know how to take that. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little excited. Sounds like you're gonna have a great room. I bored okay. a little. Could we like? Could we just take a plate up there? <laughs> yeah. Load up. I don't mind. Uh, this is a um, gentle druiding home, so you may absolutely <laughs> take your plate to your bedroom. All I ask is that you let me uh, the vines know when you're done, so that they can. Uh, Either assist you in uh, taking it down yourself if you so feel inclined, or uh, they they'll handle that if you ask them politely. Vistrixen just <laughs> grabs something and starts making a plate for Renanel <laughs> oh, okay. for making one for himself, pouring some wine. Then did I kill you, the gentle druid? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you did. He's got <laughs> he's crying. It's a good. Bit. It's good. And yeah, I suppose you eat. We eat. Mm -hmm. He's doing the classic Thanksgiving meal thing of just like trying to see what degree of mountain she can make of food on the plate. Oh, Gilly. It's loaded up. We love her. Faze is pretty much right alongside you, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta try everything. Faze, try some of this. Oh, okay <laughs> this looks good <laughs> there's you guys are swapping back and forth yeah. uh well, various confections red and white striped mint flavored candy um mm. these little model houses that taste very distinctly of an herb that you think are called ginger shaped like bread um uh <laughs> you know um big birds uh called uh, Urkites. Um, <laughs> Suddenly, I, I get this is so festive. A feeling of something like a a memory of a little fairy mm. in a colder place. Never mind. Nostalgia. <laughs> I remember matchsticks, and I can't understand why. <laughs> oh no! 
this, this is where we suddenly need Pitt to arrive. Yeah, right. right. Shows up in the house. And introducing our special suddenly. guest star. Yeah, right. <laughs> you um, summon me. If there's nothing anyone wants to do tonight. Uh... Oh, no, I want to talk to, to, to our Demon Coast guy. Because I want to know what the fuck we're doing here. So okay. I think after a little bit of like eating and small talk, or as probably let's be honest, quietness, because I feel like there's awkward silence. I um, mean, maybe for you, uh, Vistrixen is doting on Rananel, um, because he's hurt. I will at some point just go. Well, that's one ally of yours that we've. Or one enemy of yours that we've dealt with. Uh, there are going to be many more before we find a way out of wherever the hell we mount, wound up being. No idea. Yeah, what are we doing next? Did you kick somebody's dog or something? I mean, you pointed us in this direction. Where are yes. we heading? We're heading out. Out in what sense? Out of the city? Because we're going into the city. No, no, we're going into the city to get to a place where you can make a portal. But I already made out a portal. Of, out of hell? Like, away? Yes, out, out of Narak. Oh, thank God. That's real kind of you. I'm going to say this as gently as I can, and it's still going to come off a little harsh. Why mm -hmm. are you helping us? What's in it for you if we make this portal? You'll that find out tomorrow. <laughs> love that. Love that. Love I all of this. This so is great. Surprises. <sighs> Listen, we killed a very large being of pure fire for you. And we murdered while, a guy. We can, yeah, we, we, let's call it. He was a guy, and we murdered him. We did. Well, like, kind of no reason. In his own home. We, we kind of did go into his home and murder him. Basically on your say-so. I think, at the very least, that gets us a little bit of consideration. Maybe not answers, but at least consideration. There's a... You a little bit less blind compliance... I'd say. Look, that too. <laughs> Damascus, I, I agree with you. I'd love to know what's going on, but we also, considering Vic Strickson doesn't seem to want to share information with us right now, and Alewin seems particularly silent, um, I wanted to share with you a, a, a tidbit, a, a saying we have back in Rhea, um, that it's Better the bushes that you know than the forest that you don't. So, uh, by which, of course, we mean, at least right now, there's no harm coming out of it. So perhaps we can just accept that we know what's going on for now and deal with the forest later. You see the Strixon just take a giant gulp of whatever's in his cup just just drink it down and then he reaches uh, over and just sort of pats your leg uh <laughs> rev i could well said more. darling i'm thinking a little more along the lines of just trying to understand where we find ourselves because my understanding of this place and what's been going on is there's a certain sense of timelessness here What's the question? If potentially at some point we needed to fight, like, I don't know, some god of time, maybe, because he was planning on coming and killing us and ended the entire existence as we know it, would this potentially be a good place to do it because that time doesn't exist and he wouldn't be able to immediately go back to before we tried to fight him and before we killed him and stop us from killing him by killing us first? You see Ms. Jackson looks at you. His, his mouth just kind of falls open just a little bit. And then he looks to you, Alewa, and, and he goes, are you certain you want to go back with them? 
I feel like I should be offended, but also it's a good question to ask. I don't think you can be offended. You don't have the intelligence. Sure I, like I got the self-confidence wow. that's so high that it can't be beaten down. <laughs> you didn't see that concert he planned. That was extremely bright. Oh, oh, wait, no, we planned that together. <laughs> I do. It will. So we've gone happens. from I want to know where we are and how we're getting out of here to can I fight a god of time in a place that has no time? If necessary. If necessary. Would because... there be a way to... This portal we're making, is it a one-way ticket? Or if we need to potentially draw him back here, is that a possibility? It's one way. But what about that thing you did with the, the bread coming down? I'm assuming that, that... was you. That wasn't that you? me. The point that... You want to point to Rananel? No, I'm going to get a one. Okay. I'm going to get a lay one. Was that you? Did you do that? The bread? The big hole that pulled us up and then we fell. Big hole that pulled us up and then we fell. We fell to the fire. Then we fell to the fire. You know. I. It might have been zero to a hundred very, very quickly, but um, and you're gonna see her book appear again, and um, her hand is gonna glow that like glittery golden energy, and um, you're gonna you're gonna hear her um mutter like three different words in um each one of them is a different language, and she'll press her hand on the book, and again when she um pulls back, you're gonna see runes appear. Um, and they're kind of in this, like, uh, quite literally, like, a rivery timeline kind of sense as she pulls them forward and starts shifting them around her. Um, and they're going to, like, kind of float around the table as she's making this space, like, bigger and bigger of just these different runes. And she's kind of moving them around as she's, like, muttering out loud. Again, she's alternating languages as she's muttering. Um, and uh, this time her second hand, her other hand glows as well as she pulls um, a rune, like, basically in half um, to open something else. Um, and she's going to examine it for just a minute. Maybe, Damascus, you're not as different as I originally thought. Might not be um, quite as insane as she slides a couple of runes. Insane. Insane. <laughs> insane. Are they back? Insane. Your friends are back. Mm, I hate this thing. Hate. Alewin is hate. looking. Hate. Hate. Eight. Hello there. I should not have said that. Well, it not. didn't respond with General Kenobi, so that's a good thing. <laughs> it was really hard for me not to do that. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> all the self-control. All the self-control. Stay sure. <laughs> <sighs> Are you saying hey, Lewin? Yes. Uh, what? What's the fucking, what's the voice? Can you tell us maybe what the creepy thing is that follows you around? Repeating things. Well, I am fucking very creepy. intelligent. Fucking creepy. Fucking creepy. <laughs> fucking creepy. <laughs> yes. It, it even knows. It's self-aware. We know that. It is, but it, it it isn't. They are, they are not. I am listening. A lot of things have gone awry in uh, a couple of weeks that very... Very quickly. I do know, but I don't know sort of who this is. She helped me. They helped me. Could you maybe vague that up for us just a little bit? I would love to know sort of who this is. I would love to know that. Why don't you fill us in on what you do know and we can... 
literally need a donation. Am I allowed to share? Or is that your special place? Was I supposed to see that? I whisper under my breath, tell them and see if it repeats it. <laughs> oh, yeah, good call. <laughs> tell them? Oh, tell them, you you tell, the them tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. And then you hear, no, 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 no. I feel like there's maybe some internal disagreement happening. All right, I'm going like I said, I'm very intelligent, but I do not have a clear idea of what is going on, as all of these glowing runes are still just, like, floating around, mind you. I think Damascus could be onto something, but yeah. it's probably a little bit more than just that. There's probably something else we'll have to establish. I'm unsure. On to something about the time thing that I was talking about, or about the voices, <laughs> or about red coming down that you cast or all three oh the time thing the rest of it I'm... unsure i mean i'm unsure about all of it <sighs> to be completely oh, honest Alewin, can you I roll me alaywin can you roll me a perception check okay so many fucking words for saying nothing at all mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 18 in total two. 18 in total in total. She's very not used to this. <laughs> <laughs> just for a second behind Damascus, you see a face and it's going like this. And then it's gone. <laughs> Blue hair, pale skin, big eyes. Does only Alay would see this? Or do any of us have a chance? What's everyone's passive? Uh, very high 20 Ooh. it's behind oh, you it so behind you don't you. see it <laughs> <Dang> um, <laughs> yeah I figured okay, it's I'm behind you so you dumb. don't see it uh, I don't think anyone else sees it either uh, you're going to see it in a moment when she casts minor illusion and Ooh. replicates the face Would this I recognize the face no Who's that? Okay. Well, rude. What, rude. What rude. 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 No fun. No fun. <laughs> no fun. No fun. With a voice of its own now. No Did fun. she introduce herself by name to me, or do I not actually know her name? She would she would not give you her real name. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh no. I'm, do, I'm gonna do, do something dumb. I recognize oh, God. the face. No. Does it does a rev? No. Do I recognize the voice or the presence? Nope. <laughs> you do not. Okay. That's good. She helped me. Um I I know only Echo. Literally. Echo. Yes. Echo, Echo. Sounds... Hi, that's my name. And then she's standing beside you. Hi, that's me. Hi. And she is okay. this five foot tall um, Eladrin elf with long flowing blue hair. Uh, actually, the color exactly of, of Daniel's shirt. <laughs> um, okay. Good color choice, Daniel. Bright purple eyes, pale as a ghost. And the outfit that she's wearing is a kaleidoscope of moving colors and different opacities of um, just opacities. So, yeah, like thicknesses and, and how thick everything is. And it's always moving and swishing. And, and that's what you get. Now that I can see her. Can I do some sort of check to see if this is like what she actually looks like or if this is some sort of disguise? Because in our world, as far as Damascus knows, Aladrin were made by Beloth. 
Mm-hmm. And that uh, is go curious ahead. to me. Would you like uh, to do a NR? Um, let's I would give, love to do give a me... perception check, but you <laughs> you're not. <laughs> it's either I'm going to say it's either it's it's a combination of insight and arcana. Uh, I would uh, insight then, or both. Do you want both, both rolls? Okay. Uh, both I'm rolls. gonna give myself bardic inspiration. A. Because I think I have one of those left. I do. Maybe. As as she's standing there, her hair, her hands just end up in your hair, Alewin, and she starts braiding a strand of it. Can I get like if I if I reach my hand, is it is she like a physical form? Yeah, she's okay. she's there. Yeah. Oh. Ten now. She's okay. she's there. Uh, 17 insight, 16 arcana. So you want to see if this is what she looks like? Yeah. I want to know if this is her real form. It's as close to a, of a form that you'll understand. Ugh. So she's, <laughs> she, it is her real form, but she's trying to make it look like something you understand. Got it. So she is extra physical as you're as you uh give me um give me actually give me a perception check as she's braiding her uh elaine's hair not perception checks 29 for 29 you see for a moment her hair becomes short and then it's longer and then it's short again and then it's longer and then it's the way it was the first time you saw her I, Is this a transformation uh, thing or a time thing? Who can say? Shifting wise. Echo, is it? I appreciate you taking a form that won't destroy our minds. It's so polite. Kind of you. She's floating now. She's man she's managed to like float back backwards over the table and just boop you on the nose. So polite. Polite. <laughs> That's what I do. I, you know something about this time person I mentioned? We don't bother him. I... We I don't did. bother him. What Secret. if we already <laughs> bothered I, I, him? I think we're at the point where he might be bothering us. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> uh, actually like, it's sinking in uh, her chair a little bit <laughs> like okay uh, yeah. uh, 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 right. uh, 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 and she looks over to you Elaine, and she goes tsk, tsk, uh oh uh oh not again Elaine. <laughs> yes how much do you know about our timeline? Uh oh. Shh. That's cheating. I feel Some like things... we have to cheat. If she's going to be joining us, might as well join Cheat. our world. I don't you like them. I don't like them. They're me. <laughs> I was polite to you. You liked me like two minutes ago. You're, right, she just a hand just covers your mouth. I don't like <laughs> them. They're mean. I mean to be mean. to be fair. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm not trying to be coy or mislead you in that. But some things did not go quite um right. <laughs> so um. <laughs> Okay, you keep saying that. So that implies there was a right way for things to happen. What was the right way that things were supposed to happen? Can you tell us that? Uh, she's she gonna look at ends over and looks at you. Yeah, you guys are like, she's like, look, reach, like, you're sitting looking at them and she's now behind you looking forward to look at you. Like, 
the right way? So many ways. So, so many ways. Not one right way. Always. Or... Always. What she said. Except for the one that actually happened. All things happen all the time. In every like way. In a every perspective way. shift. Alaywin. Listen to your little friend here. Well, yes, I'm aware of this, but that wasn't the plan. So, um, what, so what was the when? plan? Hi. Are you the plan? No. No. Is it your plan? My plan. No. Who's All plan? plans are my plans. Fair. How many timelines do you live in, Echo? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I don't it. think I'm, you know. I, I don't I, I, think you know. So you know how you... Not very smart. Yeah, you know how you thanked her for, you know, appearing in a form that your brain could manage and you know see and accept that is also a question that that you know would make your brain explode and your eyes burn out of the sockets i'm assuming that means as many as there are all of them eh. all and none sure uh, i would like to very quickly just shoot a message to a rev and just go how much do you trust the your demon friends should i let them know about the big eye in the sky oh yeah the demon's still here yep. yeah they're, they're, they're just, just the watching table. the show they're just chilling. because i'm this close to just throwing up a thing and being like how many worlds are this in <laughs> you know what question. i don't think I think they've met her. The guy oh, so the they guy. know Echo. that. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say that um, they've met Echo. Okay, she's been with you a while. So that's, to okay, that's true. So to canonically answer you, Dan, uh, Arev would reply back and say, even if they don't know, I think at this point, considering there are only to get out of here. Hiding anything from them would be a mistake. Understood. And I use my silent image to throw up the image of the big eye in the sky and say, how many worlds was that in? And I'm specifically looking to Alewin to see if she reacts to it in like a hey, Jess, interested way question. or like a hmm. Mm -hmm. Did Gilly see the big eye in the sky when that happened? Oh yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, was was that guy? Was that you guys? <laughs> that it was, was so freaky. Well, no, it it was it wasn't us. Like that's not you've seen our eyes. That's not one of ours. Um, well, yeah, but <laughs> um, we thought the fucking world was ending. Uh, Have you met it sailors? Like, it is a superstitious bunch. You She's slipping through far. her um her data again which has condensed in front of her into like a floating tablet essentially um has she seen this eye before or and would she have seen it in Iowan when mother nothing poked her eye into that she poked her eye into everything mm -hmm. everywhere all at once. That's kind of what I was checking for, yeah. Invasive. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically what I wanted to know. Uh, yeah, and so she'll she'll be flipping through her um, her her runes here, and you'll see um little pictures of just eyes show up, um, and it'll be like over and over and over and over like a stamp essentially and she'll like shift it towards damascus and then expand it and the eyes the like the stamps fill the oh. area as she expands it and she goes 
this many times. Oh. So, and it's it's continuing. <laughs> <laughs> At infinitum. Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad that... Oh, chocolate. You're aware of the mess that <laughs> you made. <laughs> Not you, you, the other you. Oh, yes. All right. As long as we're all on the same page. You got any insight on this? I look at the demons. <laughs> They're, the demons are watching Echo just grab a handful of uh, chocolate dip and just... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, yeah, that's... We, we call that back in Rhea chocolate fondue. Um, occasionally, you'll find giant, like, storefronts that's just, like, pouring out of fountains at the front. You can just, like, walk by and take a free wafer or take a bit of chocolate. As you walk I'm past. so unsanitary. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> right. like you. <laughs> Very fancy. COVID has ruined us. <laughs> yeah. That's actually, yeah. I, when I visited Belgium, that actually was a thing. Oh yeah. my gosh. That's wild. Public That's, chocolate it, Belgium. It, it, it was pre-COVID, but like, it was awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> like Willy uh, Wonka times. Uh-huh. Alay win. Yes. I'm I'm sorry to maybe put you on the spot, uh, but you don't seem to have any issues, you know, demonstrating your constant grasp of the arcane. Um wh- what type of wizard are you? Good one. <laughs> um Chronology. A good one. A good one. A good one. A good one. And a good one. Bern- <laughs> good one. Bleh. Chronology. Mm-hmm. As in okay, time. Uh, and she's, she leave? Well, she's gone. Oh. Uh, uh. Okay. Well, I guess she's not going to kill us today. She's not going to kill us at all. She's actually helped me. Hmm. I will admit she's slightly less creepy when she has physical form, so so let this one slide for now. Then behind I... you, behind uh, Gilly's head, you see just the two bunny ears, <laughs> and then just nothing is said. <laughs> so then, if I necessarily had a question about matters of the arcane, you'd be a person. I should be able to comfortably ask, yes? Yes. Okay. So this mansion, Mm -hmm. it's a spell, correct? You're familiar with the bare bones of its construction? Yes. Where exactly is it? You mean... The plane it's sitting on? Is is it sitting in a particular plane? Please, enlighten me. What a great question. Um, <laughs> Jess, how does this spell work? <laughs> <laughs> it creates a demi-plane that you, okay. can, go, that you can go into. Yeah. And then... Okay. It's a little bubble okay. between so, planes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. W- what I'm getting to is this follow-up question. Because mm-hmm. you relay that it's a demi-plane and you've... Yes. And I go, oh. That's fascinating. So then as far as we're aware, because I you haven't demonstrated any grasp of chronology at all since we've met you. Uh, no oh. no no offense meant. But <laughs> Savage. <laughs> could you A now breadstick gets put up one of your nostrils? Ouch. As I remove the breadstick from my nostril. <laughs> yeah. Just casually <laughs> continuing. That wasn't appreciated, Echo. I'm getting to a point. Yes, well, that wasn't appreciated either. Continue. Yes, well, that can wasn't you, appreciated either. Can you now? Can you demonstrate your grasp of chronology right now in this demiplane? 
where it's I'm. True, there should be time here. Where I'm assuming, t- because if I'm the one where this spell originated from, it came from this wand, and I'm holding it, and I created the space. Um, I'm I'm a human. I'm intrinsically linked with time as a mechanical construct concept. I I can't imagine myself existing without it. And so if I were to create a demiplane, I can't imagine creating a demiplane where I would be immortal as long as I was inside of it. That wouldn't have occurred to me. So therefore... It'd be a good idea, though. There must be time. Here. It's a phenomenal question, James, <laughs> which I, Pyrea, don't have an answer for. This would be something that we need to ask Jess because I feel yeah, like you're right. I do think. I have um, time? I'll say you probably do have time magic in this demi plane. Oh, I was going to throw a breadstick <laughs> at her to find out. <laughs> and you did, you did throw do it, a bad breadstick at her, except it got oh. caught in midair and then something started <laughs> eating it. <laughs> That was a gift. You're feeding the beast. <laughs> Just like, thinking, thinking about the wide. mechanics of magic here, and and actually, you know, digging into some D and D mechanics for our viewers. Um, she just ate the food that I gave her. So Do some time stay. things, time <laughs> witch. I, uh, so I just I I quickly glance over at Vixtrixen <laughs> and Renanel because like they've existed outside of time for God knows how long. So. Yeah. Me, me bringing this up, like I kind of like want to see their reaction, but then I also like quickly turn back and look back over to uh, the illustrious sorceress Alewin Elanthris over here. Just gonna sit back trick. and you know, I do feel even though we've been out. And you know, gallivanting and casting spells and things, I do feel energized in a way that I wasn't. Um, it's quite possible. I'll give it a shot. Um, and she is going to cast all of these, make problems <laughs> oh, so i wanted to throw yeah, a bunch of and find out spells. Also, I, as you say give it a shot um one of the vines like trails down from the trellis carrying this ornate little crystal glass with a very clear liquid in it about the size of your thumb <laughs> oh they're so sweet um yeah show Party ahead vines. and uh it's a polar bear shot amazing <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead Echo and just drink it. <laughs> we love her. We love her so much. Um, I'll go ahead and just simply cast um, anticipate weakness, which for me, what that does is it says with a quick glance into the future, you pinpoint where a gap is about to open in your foe's defense. And then you and then you strike. Um, after casting anticipate weakness, you have advantage on attack rolls until the end of your turn. Um, basically, if you'll let me cast that, like I'd like to just see like where who's technically Gilly's technically the strongest, where like her defense might be the weakest. This is all internal. Fuck me up. So she'd know. She she wouldn't. Gilly wouldn't know. But like I would know. Gilly, what's your um? What's your weakest stat? Ah, uh, I guess intelligence. It's intel- <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? She's not the brightest, but we love her. Um, so. <laughs> Alaren's gonna um go to cast and you're gonna see that um that glittery gold magic. And like for her, what she, what she sees is just gonna like cast a spell and go like this. And it'll be tiny little figures of Gilly, like doing very silly, like non-intelligent things. And so she sees them like a little tiny, you know, like you, you can imply whatever that is, but like it, it helps her uh, know that, oh, intelligence is like, is, like, like licking tr- things trying to do, have. trying to do a backflip and just like doing a front flip instead. Yeah. yeah. Reading a book upside down. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, and then Gilly Fly will. Fire hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and then um for a split second um gilly 
you'll um see this the slightest like glitter and it'll disappear so just for like a faint second of like did i is that like a reflection is there something there like so something happened oh she did something huh well i mean not the most fancy tamiwami magic but i suppose that does answer the question Fancier timey wimey magic would make this place um, crumble. If you would like, I could put you in a bubble. Would you like that? That sounds fun. That sounds kind of fun. Sounds actually comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> bubble, maybe. <laughs> oh, bubble. <laughs> um. All if right. You, if you put Gilly in a bubble, could we then like <laughs> volleyball Gilly around? That's Gilly ball. Gilly ball. No, because it pops when you, it pops when you attack the thing. Well, yes. I wouldn't be attacking it. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be moving it. it. No, it's a shot at. Jess is like, I'm not giving you that. <laughs> no, because we can use it for Fucking something no. later. No, because it's outside of combat. <laughs> Uh, outside yeah. of comp no you know okay because i know how to know <laughs> yeah all all uh all momentary stasis uh gilly then which puts her in a in a big bubble um if ah. you want to make a con saving throw you can but uh no way you are encased in, in a bubble f- yeah you are encased <laughs> in a field of magical energy until the end of next year uh, until your next turn or until you take any damage rolling her isn't damage <laughs> Rolling her is a damage. That's why I said <laughs> it's a shove action. You know what? For RP. For RP. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Can yeah. Roll her around. Sweet. Oh, so yeah, you're in a in a glittery golden like um bubble. So think it, like wait, wicked Glinda. I, as you this get a, you, By the way, uh, you get a little nudge as you make that as you do that from Rananel. He goes, mm, "That's pretty." <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Cute. Um, your magic uh, uh, is pretty okay. yes you've yes seen... <laughs> you've seen my magic yeah but not your time stuff so... oh He's I guess sweet. I guess when we were in the tower I never cast anything because I had no reason to oh this is the first time you've seen my check. She's like lost <laughs> concentration on the bubble. Oh, no. <laughs> By the way, you were mid roll, like, so you uh, land on your face. Uh, and then to shove her, <laughs> shove the bubble, and accidentally shove put <laughs> Gilly over. <laughs> I love the chaos. Okay, like it was awesome. I I'm in a better like, mood now. Tables out of the way, and like get the vines to like create goals on either side of the banquet Goal. hall. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were gonna play gilly ball. Well, one of these days, we're gonna play gilly ball. We're gonna make the rules. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. The part about gilly ball is that gilly cannot play gilly ball. That is oh. the no. Only gilly is the ball. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I got a little sidetracked that's um, okay that was awesome good job I believe you you're a time witch that's great e- put yes. her in a bubble you're a time witch <laughs> <laughs> intelligence as a dump stat <laughs> what else could she be she put me in a bubble well, it makes sense <laughs> totally I mean, bubbles but, die whatever she came from a different time so it makes time sense that she's a time witch if she came from the mm-hmm. desert i mean i guess she'd be a sandwich god damn it okay <laughs> I, I, you have the opposite of inspiration right now <laughs> the opposite damn it. on your next throw it's disadvantage <laughs> in fine form god worth damn it, it. Um, worth it so okay, it so does. if you're a time wizard, why? I feel like you could just fix this. What's the hold up? Is it hard? Rewind. You're a bad time wizard. Is that it? You can tell us. Close the page. No the first it. page. Gentle okay. druiding, gentle druiding mansion. This is a very safe space. <laughs> Don't care to make mistakes. Um, no, I think I've 
mentioned before that some things are fixed and you cannot change them. Um, what time magic. Try? I mean, some of it is written and some of it is non. You you cannot. And if you do, then, huh, or you try, or you do something that's not in line with, you know, the way time works and shenanigans of the like, um, often you get uh, reprimanded. Uh, okay, reprimanded this is starting to make time? more sense. And maybe mm. thrown into a dimension where time doesn't exist. Possibly. Sort of. I, I wasn't, I mean, I was sort of thrown here, but not in the way that you're thinking. Um. Yes, yeah, so uh, you can only do so much. Wait. Run an L. Were you were you always like the way that you are? Were you born that way? I don't know if I understand the question. Well, what Elaywin just said that and Gilly um, that time magic, that there can be consequences and you can be reprimanded, um, maybe thrown somewhere without time. I just, the, with the way that Fix Strixen adores you, I can't imagine that you've always been part of the pain dimension. So, is. How do how does that fit into anything? I mean, what please, do you think I'm heartless? No, and please don't deflect. Um, were you always like this? Um, I was. Is I, I mean, I have. Yes. Y yes. Do you remember being a child? Mm, no. So is it possible? Yes. Yes? No. Cool. Maybe once a long, long time ago. A long, I was long, new. A long, long time ago. That is what you say, is it not? That's yes. how you express. Well, yeah, the passing of time. I knew. I don't know. Were you smaller? The way I that children are. I don't are? think so. Did you have the no. same? Did you have the same features? Yes. The same spines, the markings along your face? Yes. Hmm. Is what I look like. This is what I have always looked like. Okay, well that's good to know at least. I just uh, had a stray thought that perhaps the reason that Vixtrixen was so dramatically pursuing leaving this place might have been to return you to a plane where you might be safer and or properly belong? I've always been here. You can die oh. here. You Then you just come back. Somewhere like, else. Don't, don't sell yourself short. It could be that Restriction wants to return you to a place that you are supposed to be from and would be safer in. It's got a soft spot for you too. The Strixen is <laughs> taking a drink of yeah, his right. wine <laughs> and he's got this look on his face as he's angled his body towards <laughs> you, Arev, that's, that's saying just shut the fuck up. <laughs> 
shut us. the f like like he looks like he's ready to he's he's he he'd smack a bitch right now if he could. Oh, then like I see um. That's very interesting. Um. Okay, so then I, I probably like clock that considering my my passive insights a nineteen. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, all right, you know I stand up from the table and I kind of look around at everybody and I go, well, this is a fun night. Um, everybody feel free to check out your bedrooms. Uh, they're at the top of the grand staircase just in the foyer. <clears throat> I'll just, uh, I'll see myself to, uh, to my room. Good night. You look okay, like, look, you look like you've am... broken Rananel for a second there. Just FYI, you're leaving and he's sitting there like, I've, all, I've always, I, I've always been. When you come back, you're new, right? Like, 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 Miss Strixon is oh, now no. having to be like, no, 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 that's how it works here. You're okay. A crisis. <laughs> I've like broken his mentality. Yeah. What is childhood? Uh, um, okay, but, look, yeah. I'm in a better mood than I was before, but just let it be understood that before we go anywhere tomorrow, I'm going to want to know like a fucking game plan. But what's going to happen? Can we agree that we're going to have a plan? Agreed. She said. You'll get something. I walk out. <gasps> you walk out. And uh... we are going to revisit that conversation about potentially fighting the time, time god guy here. And... Also, that Remember, you always won. I owe you nothing. Overall. Fine, but if the universe gets destroyed, you get destroyed along with it. I don't think we murdered a guy for you. you. No, if you, saw you, the eye, you murdered a guy because you didn't want to get murdered. We were there because of you. I mean, he probably would have just, just let us hang it out. We could have just as easily turned around and murdered you for him. I'm just saying, we definitely that could have just like given you yeah. could have. You didn't exactly. Therefore. Do you oh. really think that I'm going to say that I owe you one? No. I mean, no, but just have it in mind. No, no, it's all right. <laughs> here's, what, here's what you keep mind. Whether you owe us or not, you are part of the universe that is probably going to be destroyed if he gets back, which is probably a bad thing for you, given you have proven that you kind of like not being dead, but with it's you not true. wanting us to let him murder you. So... Keep that part in mind. We can give that pitch to everybody. Do you like that? Existing? Assumes <laughs> that this time god wants and wants to end the universe, and see not the big just eye? you. Did Did you see the big eye? Everyone saw the big eye. Exactly, it's coming everywhere, everywhere, everything, everywhere. All at once. Destroy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Keep it in mind. That's what I think is going to happen. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> he looks to you, Alewan, and he goes, There must be others. We've done, I've done all the math. We've done countless. Countless experiments. This is it. This is the only one. That's right. We're the best. Original. Let it be and... known. I lost the moment a bit, but I'm storming out now. Good night. <laughs> Gilly leaves. Right. Well. Vistrixen stands and, uh, Gives his hand to Rananel, who takes his, who takes it, <laughs> and uh, he puts a hand on your shoulder and gives it a squeeze. It says, "If you're certain, the only option." <laughs> Didn't think it would be so challenging. Is all challenging is correct. Mm -hmm. 
well, if you decide, you needn't stay. And then uh, he takes Reninald to bed. So sad. Uh, is anyone any doing anything as as you settle down for the night? Or are you good to go to next day? General purpose studying. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to... You cuddle with Faza, who, uh, you know what, comes in a little late. She first goes to Gilly's oh, room. Here. Ooh. And Gandalf. you hear you hear a little knock on the door, Gilly. Gilly has been pacing, kind mm-hmm. of just like pent up energy slash a little angry sort of just wiggles. Gets up and answers the door. What? I was uh, sleeping. Uh, okay. So not a good time for this talk then? No, it's fine. It's fine. What's up? Sorry. What's up, Faisa? I, I, I'm, I'm not feeling the, the talk time. Honestly, you seem a little angry. This is not something I want to go no. into angry. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. Okay. Yeah. So this is Hmm. Okay. Can I can I come in? Uh yeah. Okay, thank you. And then you she nice shuts the door. Is your room not clean? No, it's always <laughs> it's always clean. It's this always is normal. clean. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> so so I have like a question for you. But now I'm kind of regret regretting coming here um Shape. you like the women <laughs> right what tipped you off posy just the everything oh yeah <laughs> uh, wait well yeah yeah generally no what posy uh, yeah generally Okay, here's my... I just... How did you know? Um... Well... If I look at a man... Mm-hmm. Um... That is... That I know to be attractive. I feel a certain way about that man. Uh... I feel the same way as if I was looking at, like, a very beautiful sunset. Or, like, a great painting... On the other hand, if I look at a woman who is a beautiful woman, I feel a different way. Does that help? Mm Hmm. Maybe? Okay, so here's the issue that I'm having. Me, Faiza, I'm pretty sure was straight. The goddess Atma is super gay. <laughs> okay? <laughs> super gay. Really? That yeah. is... That is a unique problem. <laughs> so now... I kind of look at the paintings and the non painting Everything looks good. Huh. Well, you know what? Sexuality is fluid, and that is valid of you. Um, and congratulations! Thank you so much for telling me. Uh, Ah, do you have like? Do you need like a? Do you need like a carabiner? Do you? I have a collection. Do you want? Do you? Do you want advice on like? Mm. I just, I you know, I don't, I don't think I figured it out till I was really upset that you didn't, you haven't complimented me yet, oh. <laughs> and, it made, and it made you compliment me, and now I don't know what to do with this information because rude, Atma, <laughs> rude. 
that sounds that sounds confusing. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like a difficult thing to deal with, face. Okay. For the record, I think you're great. I think you're great too. Yeah. And she starts so, like to in blush. the way that like I think, in the way that I, like, I don't think uh, I want to have this is... conversation anymore. Yeah, okay. I think I want to go to bed now. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Say hi to me, Damascus. Oh my god, Damascus is there. <laughs> and then she like hits she closes the door. Uh and I think that's where we'll call it for a five minute break. I think that went well. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, it's gonna be so much trauma. Oh, oh no. BB. Assigned <laughs> bisexual by goddess. I love it. <laughs> Woke up one morning, got bam. Damn it. Am I a lesbian? <laughs> Girls exactly. Are pretty. She's just like, when did I decide? <laughs> Look, Gilly has that effect on people. <laughs> it does. I'd believe it. <laughs> the best all right all right all right, all right. we'll be back break, in five break, 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 break. Yep. hello we are back from our break everyone has gone to bed for the night and that's me i can hear myself talking <laughs> uh y'all awake nothing happens during the night that you need to worry over uh, Why did you say it like that? That doesn't. <laughs> nothing happens that, that you need to worry over. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, um, sure. I'm sure Echo did nothing while you were asleep. I support all I'd of like her to wrongs. do an investigation. Check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you guys all meet up to go? Do you this next start of your journey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm All right. Ready to receive a full briefing I, about what the I hell we're getting like, into before we go. You guys are so funny. <laughs> as we're meeting up, I'd like to like nudge your rev and be like, the scarier one. He seems to have a soft spot for spot. Right on, soft spot for you. Maybe you could try and get him. Oh. Hi, Pauls. <laughs> Maybe we could try and get him to reveal a little bit about what we're heading into. That would be Look a your great... charm. You can pull it off. You think I'm charming? Of course you are. Look at that handsome face. Oh. All I want to know is when you, not, when you do that, balloon. by the way, when you do that, you get you can feel a glare eating into your back, Damascus. <laughs> As Vistrixen is looking at you and just glaring. The demon's having feelings again. He's right behind me, isn't he? He's right <laughs> behind you. Never touch him again. Well, I'm gonna go uh, make sure my arm is on straight. Be charming. You know, Vistrixen, it's okay for my friends to occasionally touch my face. And you... Just getting a what? My compliments aren't enough for you. Have to go I, pouring yourself out for them. <laughs> yo, <laughs> damn. Even say it. <laughs> I was like, wow, you couldn't even get through that. Commitment. <laughs> Commit to the bit. Oh my you, god! You have to go whoring yourself out for them. <laughs> I can't. I didn't realize being approached. By someone of their volition was me whoring myself out, but I, I suppose I'll remember that for the for the next time somebody says something nice to me. He's just glaring at you. Look, you have Renanel. And yet somehow you also are choosing me. And while I find that deeply charming, I also come with a group of friends. And I will not... Much different. Yes. However, if you want to be my lover, 
then you gotta get gotta with, get my, with friends. my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, inspiration. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the setup, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> set up follow through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> well played, sir. Posters. Hey, thank you. Uh, that's honestly inspiring me to be a bard, my next character. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's it's gonna have to be okay, Vixtrixen, that my friends show me affection without me fearing that you're going to do something to harm them uh, in the interim. Or even vocalize that you might harm them or seem threatening. Um, that's not the type of partner that I wish for myself. There's a moment of just that awkward silence where he sort of looks you up and down and then turns and goes, are we done here? Let's go. No, we're not done here. Wait, wait. R right now, you are in not hell. You are in a demiplane, which means quite literally in here, you aren't in charge. Ooh. Yes, so let's step rules. out as soon as possible, please. No. And while it might be terrifying to you to feel so out of control, imagine how terrifying it is to the mortals who you are asking to follow you based off of a promise you still have not told me what it is that I need to fulfill. So... It's not a promise. You made a deal. Yes. Currently, I own your soul. No, you own my soul upon the delivery of your half of the bargain, which I have not received. On the delivery of your half of the bargain. When you complete what I ask... Then I no longer own your soul. But so far I've got nothing out of the deal. You make bad deals. No, because I requested Inimus's soul. And you shall have it. It's right here. As he... He, uh kind of moves a, a ring around his finger. I hold and... out my hand. It's about time you gave me a ring. He takes it off and he puts it in your hand. Now. And then he I takes will... out and then he takes out a piece of paper that he waves around. Just let me know if you need this then. And um Wait, what? <laughs> the paper that he has um, is a... Hang on. I had, it's a scroll. It was a scroll that I... That, 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 that. I was not prepared for this to <laughs> give it to you yet. Um, the scroll is a... Scroll true of true resurrection. resurrection. Yeah. And you'll let me know if you need this then as well. And then it vanishes. Like I said, or was saying before you decided to somehow tarnish the deal that we've made by throwing in that addendum or reminder that I didn't bargain for that true resurrection scroll... A minor gripe. You have my promise to help you. I have your soul. Correct. To help me. So I will do my best to help you. Yes. Or you stay here forever. But my friends and Alewin, um, they don't tell you anything. Lewin has also made her deals. Well, 
well, let's. I didn't specify both my friends as one group and Lewin as the next, so I could be wrong with one of them. He sits down in a chair. He goes to find it. He finds an armchair and he just sits down. He goes, all right, if we're going to be here a while. Um, and I'm going to need you to roll me a d20. Hi. The spell continues. Low. You've run out of time since it only at lasts eight hours. You do have inspiration from your amazing. You do have role, inspiration. Reminder. If you want what, to use it. What type of role is this? You, it's a luck check. Oh, it's straight just D20. straight D20? Mm hmm. <clears throat> no, I think I think the inspiration might be put to better use elsewhere. <laughs> the time's running out. I rolled an 11. 11. Yes. Okay. <sighs> so it, it lasts. The spell lasts. Hi, Meg. Let's see. What's up? Sorry, one second. I the spell. I'm enjoying uh, okay. Pyrea just silently screaming at a rev this entire time. Right. <laughs> as as <laughs> what's um, going on? I walk up to Gilly. And hang on, go. hang on, hang on. Oh, sorry, as he's sorry. sitting, he actually pulls out that scroll of true resurrection again. And he, it goes through his fingers and he goes, this was actually for you. As he gives it to a lay one. Oh, have we like been here this entire time? Yep. I didn't realize we were here. <laughs> yeah, right. we were getting ready to leave. Just popcorn bucket. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I do I'll, think I'll... you might want a friendly face. Oh, yes. Thank you. Gilly, what's on what's the fancy the paper? Bit of paper? <laughs> I don't know. Damn, mm. I thought you knew. Uh, it's it's a true resurrection scroll. Oh, oh shit! Huh. It's fancy magic. Uh, yes, mm. it is. Who she looks slightly confused, <laughs> as in like this is very, very, very strong. This feels like more strings. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure he gave it to you just freely of his own kindness. You know, Who can for say? Lewin, possibly. Maybe. It, it is possible. It's possible. You good? Yes. My apologies. There was um, a misplaced holiday gift for somebody who oh, yeah. showed up to my house and is downstairs. Oh. <laughs> and Oops. anyways. Lewin got the true mm. resurrection scroll thing yeah well then it had actually it my goal was to actually give it to her before you guys left he was gonna be like i actually do come through on all of my deals but since but, he already took it out he just gave it to her in, in front of you god so in, in other words quite clearly a rev is vic Sturkson's, like crack in his armor because like feels all, that way like all of these plans as cunning as he is for something about a rev like throws him off whether it's the the being possessive whether it's the like he can't think straight when a rev's in the same room definitely seems that very way very cute that is he, cro he he crosses his legs <clears throat> Right. Okay, well, this has been fun, but what are we going to do? <laughs> are we done talking, or? I... We haven't fucking started talking. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> we've been going in circles. I, I've been trying to get to the point that Gilly isn't going to do anything unless you give them some sort of idea of what's going on. And no, I don't, I don't, I don't blame them. What for we. It. Yep, yep, the yep. plan 
is for all of you to keep your heads down, follow me, and we will get you to a place where you can make a portal and get the fuck out of here. And for the free, <laughs> he just loses his cool for there. He just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, Gilly. That sounds okay. Yes. Do you have any really, really clinky armor? Like extra bedazzles? I don't think I do. If mm. you would like to stay here, we could return back to my place. It's much more comfortable, I assure you. For now. Look at Winter and I start like stuffing stuff in the joints of his plate mail. Can we find <laughs> it? Can we find Just it? put him on mute. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, okay. So should we like should we have like a meeting place in case we get separated? Should we like if is we there get anything separated, we need to know? We probably aren't meeting up again. That's okay, sure. that's that's a good note. That's good to know. Uh, I think I've got a is there anybody here we, here we should not piss rope. off in particular? Everyone. <laughs> okay. Including the one you are talking to. <clears throat> well, that ship has sailed, honestly. So. Mm. Uh, nice. He's trying so hard. He's trying so hard. <laughs> I love Gilly so much. <laughs> okay, so oh. we go. We follow you. We don't piss anybody off. We don't get separated. What's our destination? Home. We're going home. Yeah, but, like the, the portal place. What's the portal place? Just in case we do get separated, so we could like ask around. <laughs> I, I think the uh, intent here, Gilly, from what I understand, is that if we get separated, uh, us mortal folk are dead. Yes. Yes. Okay. Honestly, that's simple. I can remember that. Okay. <laughs> but we're not. Going, nobody here wants you and your associates dead, in particular. <laughs> or everybody does. I think it's, I think that everyone wants <laughs> okay. his associates yes. dead. Yes, just everything here is hostile. Just so, keep that in mind. The hope everything. is that they, they hate each All other right. more than they hate us. <laughs> okay. I don't love it. I'd like to be on record as not loving it. Is yes. a plan overall. You are. I'll do it. It has been noted. Thank you. Just at at this point, as he's like, it has been noted. Renanel kind of takes your arm, uh, <laughs> a rev, and is, he gives it a little squeeze. Like we're going, we're going a little too far. Like you know what I mean. Like he's looking at you, like. He's giving Pulling you back. the eyes, like, like let's, let's just. Hey, I well, said I'll do it. So don't uh, worry about it, Rin. Uh, as Ren and I was like coming up to me, and he like looks me in the eyes, and he squeezes my arm. Uh, sort of involuntarily, um, just like uh, around our bodies, my starlight motes just start flickering like a small cosmic glitter, just like in circles between the two of us. And I look down into his eyes and I lift his face and I go, If Vic Strixen wasn't already by your side to keep you safe, you know that I would be there too. You have us both. He, he really tries to hide it, but you see the swoon. <laughs> He's Actually, I think at this moment, he just gets up and kisses you. Aww. It's mutual. <laughs> and the Strixen, while doesn't look as angry as he normally does, but it is also like, fine. Just be nice to him. Be an asshole to me. That's yeah, what kind of vibes right. you're getting. <laughs> I match the vibe. You get to kiss. Girl. You started like, the asshole. Vic, Vic Strixen's been a dick. So I've kind but of. He always <laughs> Not with Renna now. With Renna now, he's sweet. That's true. So, We've seen that he's, he's capable and of he's it. He's been it in front of me, so I know that I'm <laughs> being treated specifically not like Renna now. Now a rev is jealous. <laughs> now a rev is jealous. A rev just is jealous. jealous. Uh, no, I have make priorities. a history check for me, um, uh, Alewin. Me? 
me. I'm good at history. Not when I get a nine on the die. It's still an 18, though. It's still an 18, though. Yeah, uh, I have a plus nine in history. <laughs> I mean, you have been with them a while. Mm -hmm. uh, restriction is always... Has always been uh, much kinder to Renanel than... And you than anyone yeah. else. But he's he in the last little bit while you once you've rescued Renanel, um, he's been overly affectionate. He's never he's never been this affectionate with Renanel yeah. before. Yeah, like actual Is real danger. Doing this on purpose in front of a Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um oh my god, the drama. Amazing. It is at this time though that the house disappears. <laughs> Ah. And you are back in darkness. Um, oh, man. We're back in hell. <laughs> you're back in darkness. Uh, I'm going to read you something here. So stepping out of the safety of the mansion, the first thing you notice is that it is still dark outside. Not nearly as dark as before, but still night. And the night has a chill to it that sends shivers down your spine. The sky is a murky shade of purple filled with a thick, like, arcred smoke that makes it difficult to breathe without coughing. The ground is rough and jagged beneath your feet, and a faint greenish glow um, emanating from the cracks and crevices in the rock. The darkness is very oppressive. Um, you follow this giant obsidian wall that you are beside uh, that you guys landed beside the previous night and you follow a uh, Vistrixen around it. And eventually you find the entrance to the nether hive. The streets of the city are, are a twisted labyrinth, their walls shrouded in shadow and filled with strange creatures, imps and lesser fiends flitter about their shrill laughter echoing through the narrow alleys. Selver, uh, several Barlug, Barlugras, Barlugras, Bar, what are the, the, the big ones with the monkey, the monkeys with the big fists. You guys know those demons, right? I can't sure. say them. Barlug, Bargururas. Bar Bar punchy monkeys. Yeah, the, the punchy monkeys. Um, <laughs> several Donkey Kongs. And bowers <laughs> lumber through the streets. <laughs> um, their hulking forms obscuring what little light there is. The buildings are tall and imposing, made of soot-stained stone that seem to absorb um, the feeble light of the street lamps. Many of them lean at odd angles as if um, on the brink of collapse. Balconies and ledges jut out from some of them, providing perches for many of the city's more voyeuristic inhabitants to, uh, you know, linger. Others have spires and towers that stretch far into the aubergine sky above. At the center of the city looms a massive wrig wriggling tentacle that throbs with an unearthly energy. Its gaping maw periodically shrieks, sending shudders of primal fear rippling through the, <laughs> through the tourists of the nether hive. Despite the chaotic nature of the city, there exists a strange order to it all. The devils and the demons has, have established their own infrastructure here, there are markets, all kinds of strange exotic goods, and temples dedicated to dark gods that hold sway over the infer infernal realm. The streets of the Nether Hive are perilous, filled with traps and hazards and fiends, ready to ensnare unsuspecting visitors. But if you are luck, but you're lucky because you're with Vistrixen, the cunning, who has granted you his protection. He looks to you once you see that tall tentacle with the gaping, screaming maw. Almost, it's where a door would be. He goes, that's where we're going. 
Oh. Rev, is Perfect. this one of your plants? <clears throat> well, um... So, uh, perhaps, uh, we did have a few vines that wanted to pursue their own things beyond our, our family home. And, uh, you know, gen gentle druiding can only do so much. We have to we have to support, support all endeavors. They just We don't always welcome the violent ones back. Um, you know, yes. safe space. Uh, yeah. So the... Okay, no make mistakes. Is the, the portals behind Inside. the big... Mm, lovely. Like, Inside That's the ground a underneath it. Oh. All right. Of sorts. Of sorts. Is the mouth well, it is way. alive. <clears throat> Great. So, so we need to be eaten by it? It's being eaten if you're walking in. Uh... How? Is there a plan B? Well, we could go home. I have been kind of in my tentacle era, to be fair. So, <laughs> plan A, walk towards the creepy doom tower tall plan of death. Probably yes. die. Plan B, mm. go back to your place. Spend a certain amount of non-time uh, comfortable and then inevitably die. Yes. I'm failing to see one as a benefit over the other. Well, we have all the way back. You can figure back. out your own way home. Shall I? I rev, you have all your boyfriends here, but we've got <laughs> some of us have people back <laughs> in the other place that we would like to see. I'm sure we could get other people. Um, no, I don't like oh, your boyfriends. boyfriends, apparently. No offense. To be fair, I think your boyfriend's like me. Everyone makes eye contact with Vic Strixen. There is the like, whole thing with the, <laughs> the undead things trying to, you know, destroy the druids and Callum and whatnot. Like the blasted wasteland. Right. Issue. He he's like the uh the side eye you are getting from Restriction right now, uh Alewin is like I'd let him die if it weren't for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're so like he like he likes you. <laughs> so he, I'm going for the great for us. I'm going to reiterate this was not as planned. We're doing our best. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, creepy Saint tentacle. A rev over here never fucking has sex. Decides to never mind. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, wait. Do we know that we're definitely going back to the right time? That was like a whole issue. If we go into the tentacle portal, is that spitting us back out when oh, we want to go back to? Portal. Good luck. Yeah. And oh, then David. restriction just starts walking through the streets. <laughs> Arev quickly I turns to Gilly. Here. And Arev would reach out, and if Gilly would like, would let him, he'd like take her hands. Grudgingly, yes. I don't know. Look, what I'm holding on to right now, because there's a lot that's happening, and I'm going to level with you. I'm freaked the fuck out. And I've been covering it with humor and, you know, attitude and a little bit of flirting. So hey, I'm sorry if I've been irreverent and maybe pissing you off because of it. But the only... Th <coughs> sorry, the smoke around here sucks. But what I'm holding on to is the fact that inside of us is the spark of a god that wants to go home. And importantly, those sparks know where in time we were. And I think if we cling to them, they'll be kind of like anchors to the timeline uh, and, and bring us back to where we're supposed to be. And I don't know if that's very wise, and I'm supposed to be wise as a druid, but just like, trust me. Oh, God. 
It seems like a long shot. But, okay, for what I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at the situation. And look, like I signed up for this whole thing because a god told me that I had to go help you save the world. And so far, it doesn't seem like it's going great. And I just, I feel like maybe we need uh, to change our approach a bit to, uh, I don't know. I mean, like you, you've met me. I don't have any better ideas. So, like, I guess we have to do this. I just, I don't know. I wish I knew anything about what was going to happen. And I want to go home. And I don't like it here. And I don't like giant tentacles that try to eat me either. And I haven't touched the ocean in, like, a week. So, how about this? Survive this. And then, once we reach the other side, figure out a game plan. Okay. Also get you, you to the we'll ocean. At least, will we at least all go to the same place, you think? Well, if we don't, um, I'll make sure to find you. Okay. Maybe we can, like... Like, I liked Damascus's idea with the rope. Maybe we can hold on to a rope when we're in the portal. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Find I some don't sort know. Of, maybe there's some sort of god rope already between whatever sparks of gods we have. Sure, god rope. That sounds Damascus, nice. make me a perception Great. check. <laughs> uh, 28. The restriction is gone. Oh, no. Sure. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> that was like the one thing we weren't supposed to do. Alewin's following. <laughs> yeah, restriction, Alewin, Rananil, gone. Yeah. Shit. You guys uh, catch up. Uh, are starting to draw the attention of some very big, big, ugly looking fiends. We should get moving and, okay. in, in that direction. Direction I think. of tentacle. Direction One of, of them calls just... to you. Though you don't understand the language, if you, because I'm, I'm assuming you don't speak Abyssal. I almost certainly do not. Nope. Gilly will send them a little like wink, like "What's up? We're we're good." And <laughs> There's a growl that that <laughs> you get back, and they start walking towards you. Speed walking in the direction. Yeah, we start. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. We go. I mean, roll me a luck check and see if you find him. I mean, we're going towards the tentacle. If you're going towards <laughs> the tentacle. Who wants to roll? <laughs> you want me to roll? I, I can yeah, roll. I did say that this lucky. was a labyrinth. God damn it. So, I, mean, like... I will take I mean, if, a did perception you check me? from Gilly. Oh, God. Okay. You got uh... this, Gilly. Bardic inspiration. Ooh, okay. What's your verdict again? Uh, D10. D10, okay. So that's in 16. Where's my 10s? Where are you? A 6. And plus 6. 28? Yeah, that sounds right. 16 plus 6 is 22, plus 6 is 28. Yes. You think you see... You do see ahead of you, just as they take a turn, uh, Alewin's pink hair and Vistrixen's purple, you know, tiefling body. I'm gonna, I'm to gonna just grab Arev's hand and Damascus's hand and just like start booking it. <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. Or you know, whoever else is around. Uh, you, oh, guys, you guys, you guys take Amen. off Winter. <laughs> to get to uh, Vistrixen and. You're not like people are are you've now got attention. People are coming after you um and cool. and shouting. Um when you get to Vistrixen, he almost like <laughs> does a double take, like he didn't realize that you guys hadn't fucking come with him. Uh and is like seriously? One rule. And then we were talking. he's two Balor 
We're having a moment. Come up behind him, behind you, and begin to speak to him. And you, he starts speaking a bizzle back, and you're you guys aren't really sure what's being said, but what are the vibes? The vibes. Um, roll me an insight check. I would love to do that as well. <laughs> Nine. Nine? <laughs> 22? It seems like a friendly conversation. <laughs> it's great. Um, Everything's fine. 22? Yeah. And Daniel? Uh, not 20 for 30. Oh, Jesus. So the God. vibes are bad. Okay. <laughs> for the vibes for the 22, um, the Balor are definitely like, those are mortals. Those are souls. We want them. Get get out of the way. Um, and for the Nat 20, uh, you know that restriction is more or less uh, intimidating them, which they're very big. He is not comparatively, but he says something with such force that they go, that they take a bit of a step back and then almost bow in this, like give it a little nod. But they don't leave. You guys have to walk away. Uh, Ren uh, Renanel is leading you, and and Vestrixen is waiting behind. Until he thinks it's safe to follow with you guys, oh, and you're back on that. your way. Sorry about that. We'll we'll keep up. Group follow. Yeah, as we're walking, Damascus is like fingering a little gold coin that he has in his pocket. Just nervously. Probably smart. As a backup. I don't think he said anything about it to anybody. I think he might have mentioned it to Gilly a few days ago, but there's a lot that's been going on. That sounds right. Bella gave me a coin. Of, it's a coin of returning. It's a little opal coin that you us. snap. Yeah. If I snap it, it'll guide me back somewhere. Hmm. No, so, he's just just in his pocket, just playing with it nervously as we walk. Eyes on a swivel. Plan B. I'm just literally picturing this follow moment as like classic RuneScape, like right quick follow. Like he's follow. I just like slid in behind him and I'm just like following him wherever he goes. Just a little line of ducks. Yes. Yes. Um, we are ducks. Don't drop us down a sewer grate. <laughs> Please. As you um, walk through this this maze, you get to the gaping maw that lets out the shriek just as you guys approach. You have to cover your ears. Um, but Vistrixen doesn't stop. He just walks up, up the stairs and into the mouth. Like he's done this a thousand times before. Uh, do you guys follow? Uh, yes. Mascus Yes, we will follow. I, Damascus takes a deep breath, and just in case, he's going to cast Armor of Agathis on himself at fourth level. Just. Uh, can I have everyone's passive baseball. perceptions again? Passive? 16. Yes. 15. Okay. Okay. What was yours? A lay one? I can't hear you. 16. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Um, so he takes you through this almost circular uh path. You guys keep going around and around upwards through this tentacle, and you can feel it sway as you, you move. Um, every now and then you still feel that shriek. It it is a very fleshy building that you are in right now. <laughs> Gross. Um, <laughs> sorry, it just <laughs> you at happy. the center of the nether hive, right? Lose the oh, hang on, that's we said that we said that blah, blah blah. The surface of it, like that you're walking on, it's very slick <laughs> oh, and it's black, you know, it's 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 got that little sheen to it. Um, it seems to also like pulse a little. Oh. Um, <laughs> Um, 
where we have blah, 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 James Blue Castle rolls. Okay, so um, roll me a group stealth check. Important one. And what? I need to roll something. I need to roll something for Vistrixen. Okay. Uh, 21. And Randall. 18. E. Okay, okay. Uh, and I Daniel, you zero, are so muted. That's just a good roll. I know. I'm being sad at how bad Phaser rolled. Uh, how bad? Phaser got a nine. Phaser got a nine. A rev got a nine. Yes. Got a nine. Ooh. Okay. You have inspiration. It's a group stealth check. Half of you have to pass. I mean, Winter got an 11. Yeah, what's the... Uh... 23. Okay. Okay. So it's not great. It's not great. But it's not terrible. You guys are not like... You're not attracting a, not a lot of attention. Okay. okay. I feel uh, like slick, pulsing, fleshy floors probably don't make a lot of footprints. Um, no, but they do make wet. Yeah. Oh. oh no. Um, I'm I sorry can't. I brought it up. <laughs> Insight on Vistrixen. Okay. Twenty-five. Eleven. Oh. Bad. Uh, with a twenty-five, you you see something cross his face, like concern. Oh, um, don't say that. <laughs> there's a little bit of concern, a little bit of confusion, and then he puts a hand out for you guys to stop and like lay low. Just as you're approaching. Uh, what would be like a room there's an opening uh and he goes up and he he listens Vistrix, so vistrixen has led you to what is essentially um like the entrance of a waiting room um you can probably get close enough that you guys can like see a bit of it you know what i mean uh it's like it's a dark forebo foreboding place with the only light that that uh you see coming from this eerie glow of red eyes from these two massive stone skulls that flank the exits to this room um the entrance to the vast cavern is, is like to have the exit of this room slash the entrance to a vast cavern of like what looks like lava um the room itself is a perfect square the entire floor is covered in rough stones of various sizes. The walls are lined with cluttered tombstones, each one bearing the name of someone long forgotten. As you approach the room, that's when Vestrixen pulls you to the side and you hear talking. Cool. And he... Uh, Give me, give me a history check with advantage, a rev. History check with advantage, you got it. Ooh. That is, because I don't think I'm good with history. Oh, I am good with history. Uh, 16. Varian is very restless in your head right now. <gasps> he knows that voice. And he's, he can't believe that it's here. You get a little closer to the room. And I'll describe the rest of what you see. As you approach the room, you notice these two massive stone skulls. Wait, I were there. Hang on. Uh, these two massive stone skulls that have their mouths open um, and streaming, like a stream of thick blood comes out of them and goes into basically a circular pattern in the middle of this room. Um, there are like tiny pedestals that pulsate with dark energy. Standing at the other end of this room, 
on the ragged steps that lead you to the lava-filled cavern are two beings. Their forms obscured by the dim light. But you can make out the silhouettes against the glow of the lava. The air is thick and hot, and you can't help but feel that you are being watched from the shadows. The ominous silence of the dungeon broken only by the whispers of the people in front of you. As you get closer, you hear, you hear Anya's voice. The first druid. Nope. <laughs> she no longer looks like the first druid well close but you can't you can't you it is her you hear her voice you see her she is talking to a hulking creature and saying she has outlived her usefulness with the lord of the never of the nether hive gone this is the perfect time for us. And that's when Varian takes over. Hey. Oh. So I'm going to tell you. Yeah, Varian's go ahead. in control right now? Varian has burst through. Okay. This is the woman that took his life. Yeah. And trapped him in a tree for eons. You want me to tell you what she looks like now? Um, yeah, because as I'm stepping into Varian's shoes, all I'm feeling is panic. <laughs> so... so and Anya, once tall, the, a once tall, beautiful pink tiefling, has transformed into a creature made entirely of sparkling, translucent pink crystals. Her skin is composed of thousands of tiny hexagonal crystals that shimmer and glimmer in the light. Her eyes are large obsidians that absorb the light. Her hair is made of long, sharp diamonds that resemble very icy needles. It, and it moves and shimmers with each movement of her head. Her hair and limbs are thin and angular with pointed fingers and toes. Her long black nails forming claws. When she speaks, her voice sounds like tinkering crystals, crystal chimes. Clear and melodious. And the person next to her is a fearsome and imposing creature that stands about nine feet tall with broad muscular shoulders, a heavy muscled humanoid body covered in dark scaly skin. Its head resembles that of a monstrous insect with razors, sharp mandibles and glowing red uh, compound eyes that gleam with malevolent intelligence. Long, sharp spikes jut out from its elbows and knees. They are, uh, he is dressed in tattered robes that conceal most of its body, but leaves its powerful arms exposed. It carries a wicked scythe made out of blackened metal that seems to part pulse with a dark energy. Blah, blah, blah. Great. Right. <laughs> Last. Varian immediately <laughs> like st stuck in, in in like fight or flight right now like it is desperately leaning on flight um like you've got by the way you've got um restrictions hand is more or less on your chest like holding you back he what but he's not paying attention to you he's paying attention to the people in front of you um then but with that with that presence like pressed into the chest and very bursting through he goes 
Fixtriction, that's not a fight that I think we can win. Like, I don't know if you're paying attention much, but please, for the love of God, please don't fucking go down. There. Don't make me go down there. He immediately turns around and puts a hand on your mouth. You chose now to come out. <laughs> you chose now. You want your sister back. You have to go through that. They're in the way. And they are talking about killing the way out. She's the reason that I died in the first place. Not a lot's happened between then and now, I can tell you. I'm basically the same. killed you. Yes. Oh, she is wretched. I, I, some sort of... I don't know. I, I've heard you know, so many tales from listening in on Rev and everything that's happened in his life. It sounds... It sounds like it was some sort of rite of resurrection that she sacrificed me for and then something went wrong and I got stuck in that damn tree. For he puts a hand on your mouth again. He goes... And it, he's saying this in your ear because he's very, very conscious of them, of them hearing you, right? He goes, it was a rite of resurrection. She brought back her son from here. My father. And then he looks back. There is no way out. We have to go past that, for that's where my mother is. And that is who will weaken. <sighs> will allow a portal through. There is no other way. Besides, you deserve some revenge, don't you? And he's he's got he he puts his hand on the side of your cheek and he goes, "Look at all of the. Look at everyone you have now." I, I like take my time and look between each one of them, and then one more scroll comes out of his hands. Help me kill them. And this brings your sister back. And he'll he'll even give it to you. I take it. And I look at him and I say... Fix. I've never wanted revenge. After 50,000 years, the only thing I've ever wanted was a chance to either live my own life or die. But if you're telling me that all of that's led to this and we go down there and I either fight to live or fight to die, then I've got nothing left. I may as well go. You're not the only one whose life was cut short that night. Your sister tried to save you. Don't you think she deserves a second chance? Oh, I didn't say that I was fighting for revenge. But I am still fighting. Good. As for your affliction, all things can be sorted in time. Oh, so you mean this thing between me and Arev? I didn't think of it much of an affliction. More of a feature, really. I like enjoying the bugger. As you will. Okay. If it's me you've got, then you could... I hate to say it, 
you can trust me to have your back as much as uh so much as Aurelith might have. Maybe more. Who knows? I am a better sorcerer than he is. If you can't do this, then we need a ride back. Or he looks to Alewin. We outsmart them. Can we move them? There is a giant vat of lava over there. I can... Oh, God, Daniel, what? I still have defenestrate. Oh, my God. <laughs> How close to the lava them, are they? If you guys go over to the roll 20, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the room that you are in. It's a okay, huge yeah, yeah. map, by the way. Uh, this is the room that you are in. At the very end there, there are two figures that you're going to fight. And then there is a catwalk that leads okay. to a giant throne, all okay. suspended by chains. All the bottom there is lava. Oh... They don't know you're there. They're no. talking about going in and killing that queen over there. Right. So it's you moving. have time to do, to think of a plan. Okay. Um, so, he, he, Damascus. First of all, hey, it's been a while. How are you? <laughs> Second. Well, as can be. Um, So I know this fancy little trick because obviously I like playing jokes on people, right? And uh, one day I decided um, I really, really, really didn't want to be seen. And so I kind of discovered a greater invisibility. That's great. Um, so I don't know if you have any, <laughs> if, if you or if uh, Alewin, who also, hey, <laughs> thought you died. Sorry. <laughs> good, to, good to see you. Um Anyways, if you or or the other wizardess over here have any sort of magic you can lay on me, I can probably sneak up and and you know. Oh my god! Blast them from. I could twin spell vortex warp them into the lava. I can pulse wave, but it's only fifteen feet. Yeah, I'd have to. Like think my range is not great, and I'd have. Okay, to... wait, 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 wait. If you make her. Can you make both of us invisible? Um, Hi, Varian. By the way, I miss you and I love you. And she <laughs> gives you a quick kiss on the on the cheek. Oh, thank wait, you. Wait, I mean, if she can pulse wave and and knock them off balance, that's an easier target to just poof. She seems to be made of crystals and the other one seems to be pretty hell themed are we sure that lava would be a problem for them no idea yeah. so i mean as far as With it goes shot. um i can actually split that spell between two people so if two of you need to be invisible and get up right close um that could be done any other ideas um. hmm down to trying, but I ain't gonna let you get up there close. I can cast invisibility on myself, as long yeah, as but... I don't attack nothing. Wait, what? You don't get to make those decisions for me. No, I'm coming I with you. I get to you. fight just as much as anyone else does. And hey, I ain't gonna stay behind and let you... We don't have time to argue about this. Then stop being a dick. I'm coming I... with you, I'm saying. Can I huh? technically... Can I technically use my um arcane abeyance uh it's it's a feature it's putting it in a bubble it's a it's a time spell it's a time spell never mind it's Don't it's a feature it's, what is it yeah exactly it's, it's so uh when you cast a spell it says 10th level uh, chronology magic feature uh but it says when you cast a spell using a spell slot of fourth level or lower you can condense this spell's magic into a moat the spell is frozen in time at the moment of casting and uh, 
is held oh, within so a gray bad. bead for one hour. This bead is a tiny object with an AC 15 and one hit point, and it is immune to poison and psychic damage. When the duration ends or if the bead is destroyed, so if you yeet it, um, it vanishes in a flash of light and the spell is lost. Um, a creature holding this bead can use, this, use an action to release the spell within, whereupon the bead disappears. Um, the spell uses your spell attack bonus and save DC, and the spell uh, treats uh, the creature who released it as the caster for all purposes. Okay, so here's a really fun thing. That's cool. But it's technically a, it's a time feature. What, what is the really fun thing? The really fun thing is that I have the Sash of Sorcerer's Synergy. So technically, if it's you cast in the spell and he delayed it, mm -hmm. I can still apply a twin spell metamagic to something you've cast. Ooh. Because it applies applies my metamagic to your spell. Mm -hmm. What? So what are, what are we thinking? What is our plan before what they find you? So I... I I cast greater invisibility on myself, take whatever she condenses straight up to them, and then Ooh. twin spell that to blast them both. So what have you got that's fourth level or lower? Um, the thing that pushes them is, like I said, um, it's it's pulse wave. It would push them 15 feet. Okay. Fine. And then Phaser gets close with you when they're off balance and just whoop, mm -hmm. the final way into the water. Or into the lava. Now, the only downside here is I can. I only will give them disadvantage on their saves if that if if you the pulse wave goes off first. Okay. Does the pulse wave target a creature, or is it an area of effect spell? It is a area of effect. It is a cone. Hold on. Then I cannot twin spell it. It'll hit no. them both anyway. Yeah, if they're close. It's a cone. Yeah. It, 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 yeah, it's a cone. There's 15 feet away from It's a cone. Uh, okay. It's th a 30 foot cone. So then I don't need to twin spell it. Correct. Yeah. But I can do it at fourth level and put it in the bead. And then you can hold it. And like I said, it, you can you can cast it there. I can, if I get close enough, I have to be within 30 feet, but I can sneak up with you. And if one of them passes the saving throw, I can then. Uh, hit them with a defenestrate to throw them off balance. <laughs> you really want to do but, it so bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. As yeah, a yeah. backup. It's just that I don't have greater invisibility, so if once I cast that spell, I'll be seen. Uh, I think I have so, it, I just don't have but it But I figure, like... Think what? I said, I think I have it, I just don't have it prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't I thinking think, about it. <laughs> I think it's a good plan. All right. Okay. Well, are you are you guys have decided this is what you're going with? I'll be here for moral support, and if you need a tentacle that can do about two points of damage at a time, hey, well, so, I can do that from a distance. I mean, Honestly, ready it if they're like if you see that they're not like falling over or whatever reason. Pop. No. Yeah, I wish I wish that my distance tentacles could like move. They can't really. Uh. No, I'm just going to put, throw this out there. I'm just a tiny bit on the squishy side, so I can actually make both myself invisible and you invisible, Gilly, if you want to come down there with me um, as a oh, bit yeah. of a bodyguard. And then I can do this with a wave thingy. And then, God forbid, something happens, and then they get mad and want to do the smashy smashy to my face for a second time, and I die, you know, a second time. Um, you could be there to maybe to, to prevent that? Yeah, um, no, that seems like probably a good idea. As don't you need to be visible? Don't you need to hit Faza so she can get close enough to Vortex Warp? Mm. Oh shit! You can only do two, mm. right? I can only. Do I this all assumes regu... you make it there. I can yeah. upcast regular. If something goes wrong, then I, I will upcast... run very fast. I can upcast okay. regular invisibility, uh, and hit uh, more people. Okay, so this is the plan. It's a good plan. We do this plan. Mm -hmm. This is me talking to the players. Yes. Yeah. I like Anything else plan. I will hit. That's exciting. If we're all sneaking up. I will hit myself with invisibility. I'll hit. Oh, uh, I'm staying. I don't get staying. hit. <laughs> okay. No, I'll hit me. I'll hit uh, Gilly. And I guess I'll hit Winter too. Okay. That way That's we can good because it is very far away. So it would take a couple rounds to reach yeah. 
the situation. Just in case this doesn't work and this turns into a big fight that we have to like actually just fight them. I can't because... imagine it's gonna go wrong. <laughs> no, it's I, definitely I, gonna be go wrong. I, <laughs> All right. no, I'm okay. just I'm, I'm just starting the just in case. There we go. Okay. All right. This is gonna be fine. So um, yeah, how so is this I'll, working? I will go ahead and um put a fourth level pulse wave mm-hmm. in uh like I said, fourth level um into a little a little gray bead um with my arcane abeyance uh feature. Um and then I will hand it to um not a rev. <laughs> The name's uh, Barry in case you forgot. There you go, Barry. I'm sorry. I <laughs> just blanked on his name. Uh, it's totally Barry. fine. Yeah. It's been it's been like what two two out of game months until you heard my voice. Right. So <laughs> at least. And how what's the range on that? Uh so it is uh pulse wave itself is uh it's 30 foot cone. Okay. And it it pushes them back fifteen feet. Okay. I got to get within thirty feet to hit them with a uh, defenestrate too. We've we've all done our cal- calculations. Okay. Yes, I cast fourth level. I go put a hand on Gilly on her shoulder on uh, Winter's shoulder, and the three of us turn invisible. Okay. If you all right. attack anything, you're gonna become visible again just be aware good night and phaser um a rev is twin spelling yeah or excuse me varian is twin spelling greater invisibility yep okay so you guys yeah. are going to and i will lay when you're staying back all because right my spells double <laughs> i can cast from where i'm at <laughs> okay <laughs> well um the strixen and ranel will stay with you <laughs> Now you have to get there close enough to cast these spells. So mm-hmm. that's like 120 feet. I'm going to need I'm going to need how you're get like your plan of motion through this. Like how you're how far you're going, where you're going, what's your line. Um, and then I'm going like to need around... some roll <laughs> what? Should we go like around Here. the border of the room instead of? Yes. What here is the lava? Just so I can like make sure that Phaser is within ninety feet of it. Sure. Yeah, the circles is that lava? That's not lava. Yeah. Uh, the oh, okay. lava is um on the, the lava like, is it, in the next the room. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's so lava, it's in the but just that's not yeah. also. But it's no, that's, so it's, that's blood. It's like a bridge. Oh. So this right. is it's like bridge. a bridge. This is bridge. Yeah. Okay. So you can push him. Eat them. You just got to make sure that you get them to like, so the the lava starts like here, right, guys? They're here. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, this is not coming clearly for me. Mine just cuts off. Scroll down. No, it cut off halfway down. Wait, the, is it, is it Fog of War on? Yeah, the map only shows me up to. Yeah, I only see like where the lava starts, basically. Yeah. Hang on. You. You so they're farther that? from it than I thought. Yeah. Did it reveal? No. No. Hang on. You know I, what? Oh. I only see up to here. Oops. <laughs> Is it all gone now? Yeah, yeah. It's all gone. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. Too much fog aboard. <laughs> Hang on. I just want to turn it off. <laughs> um, reveal areas. Reveal. I said reveal. We can always use our imaginations if we must. To highlight it. There oh, there we go. There you oh, go. Shit. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. That yeah. Lava. That I... looks much more lava y. That oh, is God. way more. Oh, they're feet. a lot farther from it than I thought. Um Faza can still toss them in this lava here, but she needs to get like right beside the skull. Okay. Like, yeah. You see where I'm she needs to get like here to get within 90 feet of it. Okay. Oh yeah, they're like ninety feet away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this plan is not looking as feasible as it's happening. Well, damn! You still gotta get. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get me a, get a stealth check going. You advantage because uh-huh. you're you're invisible. Yeah, still gotta get there. I need to check if anyone has true sight. Hang on. 
Oh God, that would be. <laughs> if, 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 <laughs> didn't even consider that. I didn't even if, consider that. If, uh... if y'all want, I have a, another. Now that we know the actual layout, um, I could dimension door to the middle of that. Uh, what's it called the the bridge, uh -huh. and be bait. And oh, oh you could. Ooh, That's oh my God, do it. A better idea. Damascus would absolutely suggest that. Do you want me to go be bait? Lure them in there? Yeah, because we have to get no. them to move. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Not <laughs> really, no. Like, no. Eleven's like, yeah. <laughs> Should I be bait? <laughs> I can take one person with me. Fuck it. I feel like somebody... I should be bait. Okay, we get it. You want to self-sacrifice, but, like, who's no. the actual, like, no, less me. squishy person? <laughs> no, I mean... No, think about it for a second. They've gotten, it, I certainly hope anyways, they've got no idea that I survived. I fucking show up in the middle of the bridge in hell in a different body and I start fucking talking to them. They're going to pay attention. Will they recognize you? You're not in the same body and like, no, I, look, when I say this with love, I think you're a very important person. I'm not, this lady's been alive for a very long time. And she, like, murdered you as a sacrifice thousands of years ago. I don't know if you're that, like, sticking out in her memory. She's my grandma. Yeah, she's really aunt. a lot of people's she's grandma at this point. Sorry, also, she, she's my aunt, sorry. You also don't look like yourself at the moment. I, yeah. No, but I, I'm pretty sure I still sound like myself. I'm just saying, I like prepare for I mean, me I to could... have to like jog a oh, memory. Damn it. I also, I also have time. dimension door as well. Okay, but we've established we don't want you. No, to... not me. No, mm -mm. but not I'm that just, I give a shit. I'm just saying. to be clear, <laughs> but we might need your spells. All right, we it's hopefully the just let them die. I don't like the idea of you being bait, Varian. You. Yeah. Don't take this the wrong way. You're a lot easier to hit than I am. You're also like emotionally close to the situation in a way that like might not make you completely rational in general. Damascus, you should do it. And if you can take Gilly, Gilly's muscle. Damascus, right. you have uh, you know, what is it? Mm. Uh, uh, You've got red. luck on your side yeah. most of the time, so it's true. I was do. Uh -huh. Varian, do you and Faza want to get a little closer into position, and then we'll then we'll do it. Lure them in, hit them with the thing, go. Otherwise, you're running from all the way down here. Sounds like a plan. Right. So, who is sneaking where? I will Bardic, a Rev, and Varian, and uh, excuse me, Varian and Faza. Okay. Uh, are Gilly you are waiting for them to move before you go, or are you just no, we're dimension go dooring? Okay, so you dimension door. No, no, where I'm waiting for them to move. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so Faza and, and so there. move your guys where like where you can this turn. Okay. Like do it as a turn so that I can like. Okay. Where are you going? Which way? How are you doing this? So I think I think a rev would move west around the pool. So like So like this okay. So this way. Yeah, okay, this gonna go this way. Are you dashing? Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to get close. Uh okay. no, I can't well I mean I can't dash because I, I cast greater invisibility this turn. Okay. So uh, he, he's not a rogue. Right, right, right. Okay. So you've moved Faza there. Yeah, she did dash. Oh, that's she... east, but okay. Five, 10, okay. 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, it's no, fine. That's not a bad idea. No, no, no. I figured you're, are you going to, she's got to get the lava on this side is closer. That's fair. Yeah, no. So I'm, I'm just trailing behind her by 30 feet. That's all. Okay. Now who's going to, now who's moving? Next, I'm gonna wait another. You're waiting for Faza to get there. Closer. Okay, so move Faza again. Okay, one, two, 
three, four, five, six. Uh, that's move. Do I want to dash it? Oh, hang on. All right. Just so write it. here's here's what's happening here. The moment Faza gets within sixty feet it. of Anya, mm, shit, she has tremor sense. What is that? That means she Top feels vision. her moving. Uh, where she does, and she starts. She looks over, and she knows that someone's there. I immediately turn to Gilly and go, "Let's go." And yep. Okay. Yeah. Dimension door onto the bridge. You dimension okay, so door. Put yourself are... where you want to be on the bridge. Uh, let's go. Okay. To the bridge. It's gonna take a few minutes. <laughs> Just because <laughs> y'all are about to roll for initiative. What do you think, right uh -huh. here, Gilly? Yeah, that's a good. A little higher, close up. to the lava zone. Bo are you I both really on top? Hope... Of okay, that's where you guys are. All right, so that's where you guys are. Is that is everyone where they where you are happy? I'm I'm as close as I can. No, be. I didn't dash. <laughs> okay, you have you haven't had a move yet since Phase moved closer. So I, no, I I moved closer. Okay, thirty feet in anticipation. Okay, but, uh, but I'm so, again, I'm not dashing. From this, we are going to call the session here because next oh, session God. we will oh, be geez. rolling for initiative. Huh? <laughs> Start off the year strong, <laughs> fighting the woman who fucking ended my life. Oh no! <laughs> I really was hoping you guys would like do something from afar, but you got close. We're trying. <laughs> I know, I know, but she, I was like, I was like sixty feet. No, I totally mm. forgot about it. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that tremor sense fucked with all of our plans. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I until I said it, I was like, do they have special? Yeah, she has blind sight and tremor sense. Fuck, how long is her blind sight? Has she just been fucking with you this entire time? Thirty feet, maybe. <laughs> blind sight no, is thirty we've been feet. Far away. Yeah, tremor no, sense is me. is sixty. Okay. And oh, they've got suggest. some they've got some cool fucking shit. Uh, oh good. So hopefully, we're gonna drop them in lava. Yeah, I was like, hopefully she'll be like, oh, there's something there, and then Damascus and Gilly will be like hey. making noise and shit. And they'll be like, oh, that's the thing. <laughs> okay, so yeah. real talk. How close am I? I'm I'm a ninety five uh, feet. Yeah, so, that's pretty far. Okay, so I'm a storm sorcerer. Mm -hmm. I've been panicking. I've been afraid. We had a plan. I felt pretty confident. And we're mm -hmm. running up. I'm invisible right now. The second that I see Anya turn, uh huh. I think I would have erupted in a lightning bolt. No. Okay. What to draw her. <laughs> okay. We will hold that, write it down. <laughs> you, you erupt in a lightning bolt do that and that's and then we will start from we will start combat we are rolling good one to end ah! it because like I, like like i'm invisible and on your invisible the we moment she turns and looks at at phasa I, I have greater invisibility so i can still oh. cast spells and do things and stay invisible yeah she doesn't know she does until so, you get within 60 feet of her yeah and then my invisibility would drop she, no, she just she, she has you. okay she she has tough vision she can see through yeah, her she can sense like she, yeah. she sees vibrations yeah that's, she that's can't. and she Physically has blind sight yeah. yes um okay there. yeah because lightning bolt has a uh lightning bolt has a range of um wait what range self 120 no, right? probably uh, originates sure from self i'm pretty sure it's 120 Sorry, yeah, it originates on self. So yeah, it's a hundred feet, and I'm ninety five feet away because I didn't dash. Okay, so she she knows she knows where it came from, but she doesn't know like who did that. Exactly. I in my anticipation, like she turned and is like looking at Faza, and then I'm just kind of like, "Fuck no!" <laughs> like <laughs> "Fuck no!" <laughs> and just like blast out a lightning bolt as like sort of chaos ensues. Um. Love a plan. I, I'm fucking no, the plan's off the rails. 
All right. So uh, that would be at her, right? So that'll be yes. a deck save from her. Uh, yes. All right. Let's let's see. Does Varian uh, benefit from Amelia's bow, or is that an Arev thing? Yes, he does. Okay. One so- second. Will I read some stuff? She has some <laughs> resistances. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Ooh, but you slow. You a slow bitch. She has advantage on this. And rolled two sixes. Amazing. Which <laughs> Yep. Okay. Do your do your damage. Okay. Nice. All right. First hit. Well deserved. The lightning bolt out of nowhere in the middle of hell on the woman that's ended my life. Uh, that's 30 points of lightning damage. Okay, so you see it, you see this lightning bolt hit her square in the chest because she doesn't look very fast made of all crystals and all of that. That's fair. But then it all seems to like disperse through her and like oh, all these sparks go shit. all over her and and like and like you can see it ripple out and it only actually does is so it did 30 damage yeah it only actually does 15 damage great and now we will roll initiative next game okay uh gg gg Plan went to shit real fast. Yeah, I'm really good. Yeah. Um, at least we had one. <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> this is so bad. Um, Damascus is about to put on the performance of a lifetime and convince this woman that he's the one who cast the spell. Let's go. Uh, it was I would me. Like to roll deception. <laughs> we did it. Come at us. <laughs> okay. Next. Next session. <laughs> we'll roll. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll. I'll. We'll do this. Um, I'm Ice Me Stars, and I've been your shenanigan sovereign, and Jesus Christ, the shenanigans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pi. Hi, everybody. I'm Pyrea. You can find me on all the socials as Pyrea. Um, I was Alewin Alanthus, the chronology wizard who can't use her fucking cat magic. <laughs> <Get me>. um, <laughs> yeah, we just need to shove them in our demi plane. You'll be fine. Listen, yes. I've got some really cool, like, yeeting time spells, but... I know! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna yeet dimensions first and then yeet time. Yeah, right? Um, <laughs> Let's go to, to James. Hi, I'm James. You saw me uh, as both characters tonight. You saw me hey, for most of the session hey. as R.F. Dezark, and at the end, my terrified, absolutely terrified Irish storm sorcerer, uh, Varian Arbor, uh, facing off Anya Arbor, who's uh, my aunt and uh, not my grandma, as I forgot there for a second in my own panic. Uh, it's been 50,000 years. <laughs> please forgive me. Um, 50,000 and change. Uh, you can find me as Mazrix or Mazrix24 pretty much throughout the internet, most notably in our Discord, full of awesome people of creative and, and uh, in- intellect and dad jokes <laughs> every single day. Um, I'll post a link in chat. Um, Dan. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. I've been quickly tack attacking into our Discord all of our plans and combat situations and who has bardics and being a bard is great. I'm just like, here, you do stuff, you do stuff. I love it. Um, I have been Damascus Silva, the half elf bard warlock. And no, really, it was me that cast that spell. What? You don't think I can? I'm the most powerful wizard you've ever seen. (laughs) <laughs> that's a wizard talk, right? <laughs> that's, I mean, that is that's how Alewin talks. That's... Speaking of wizards, <laughs> Alewin. She already did it. Oh, you already went? Well, oh. I was typing. Caro. Yeah, Caro. It's me. <laughs> I'm Caro. I have been, um, uh, what's my character's name? I've been Gilly. <laughs> Gilly. Silly Gilly. It was kind of a little shit ugly. today. Don't make the ugly laugh come out, guys. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's me. An imaginary hero on the internet. Yes. Right. We'll see you guys. Not not on Christmas, but the, the Monday after. 
See you New, next New year. Year's. Yeah, New Year's <laughs> we Day. have another long break before this mm-hmm. plays Got out. Two weeks to wait all the way till next year. Uh, ah. The anticipation. <laughs> Bye. Bye.